G'day mateys and welcome back to the Down Under Gamer channel. It is the Down Under Gamer here and we are back with episode 6 of our Imperium Universalis. This is Sparta Let's Play campaign. Uh, so obviously in the last episode we had the first Peloponnesian War uh, against uh, Athens and her allies. Uh, as we found out, it was it actually kind of panned out quite historical. I was quite uh, I was quite impressed um, by that. Um, so obviously our army on land was uh, indomitable. Um, nothing could really oppose us. Uh, however, Athens' fleet uh, managed to keep blocking us and stopping us from achieving um, certain objectives. Um, in the end, it just got to the point where both of us had um, a bit too much war exhaustion. Uh, however, um, Athens' war exhaustion was obviously a bit higher than mine, so they ended up piecing us out after we, uh, we took Athens itself and several of its um, surrounding provinces. Um, and they offered us uh, most of what we were hoping to get out of that first war. There's still a province we need to get, but that's okay. We can, um, we can work on that in another war. Um, so in between episodes, what I did is um, I actually uh, selected a couple of ideas um, because obviously my admin and my military techs are a little bit ahead. So I'm kind of going to start getting, um, you know, a, a penalties for unbalanced um, research. Uh, so I need to get my Diplo tech up a little bit. Uh, so I took the uh, the old and infirm, which gave me a land maintenance modifier of minus 10%, which is good, some more money in the bank. Uh, and then I took the um, administrative ideas for the um, officer corps, um, which is leaders without, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the government reformation. So monthly autonomy changes minus 0.05%, which is good because obviously in this one here, if you've got provinces with 100% autonomy, uh, when your leader dies, they actually become independent factions, uh, which we don't want to have happen. Uh, so that said, um, we've got a rebellion about to fire at some point in time. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We're doing some cores. Uh, what else is there? We need to really look at expanding our fleet and growing that. Um, but first and foremost, uh, we really need to uh, look at expanding our economy in order to support a fleet uh, so that when we have the next Peloponnesian War, uh, we can um, we can overcome Athens uh, at sea. Uh, so that said, guys, as always, uh, if you enjoy what I am doing here on the channel, if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, drop this video a like, and leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, suggestions, all that sort of good stuff in the comment section below. Uh, so let's jump into today's episode. We'll drop it back down to speed four. So seven, so let's have a look. Um, forts, we'll mothball the forts. So that takes us up to eight income and so on. So that's not too bad. Um, advanced metallurgy is starting to spread. Uh, how far away from that are we? So it's already present in several of our provinces.
cheap buildings that we can build. So I so if I build this one. to the idea, can we? Hmm. We'll keep going. So we should be back on par for, um, for our tech levels now, I think. Have a look at my missions. So what do we have? We have a build a fleet. So only 25 heavy ships. So build roads. So what are we doing? We're doing eight per turn. So if I do a capable port, that gets me to build shrines. So I need to have at least eight shrines. Prove the capitals, I need a forum, public baths, Odeon. Okay, so I won't be able to complete that for some time. However, so what do I need? Administrative advisor, diplomatic advisor, and a military advisor. So if I go to, I think it's government, have a look at the advisors. So we'll just get the cheap ones. So what is it going to cost me to build roads? Actually not too bad, is it? Hmm. We need to uh, improve uh, this. So let's have a look at our diplomacy.
back to plus four, okay. So who's our air looking like? He's kind of shit too. We've got terrible diplomatic skills, Spartans. Absolutely terrible. trying to take me to war with so what they have started Tolapoya and Tangara let's decline we don't need to get dragged into another war just yet for these Megarian rebels to fire once they fired. Actually, we probably do it now. Drop the army maintenance. Oh, no, that's really going to do much. Uh, a little bit more. Oh, actually, well, uh, four or five, sure, to bay. No worries, we can do that. So we've got no more uh, rebellions firing anytime soon. So let's pop this back down. Let's maximize the income. So we've pretty much got advanced metallurgy. That is should fire in the next nine years. Have I embraced this though? I can't. Oh, it is embraced. Yeah. Embraced, yes. When embraced. Right, okay, got it.
Slaves of Argos. Life is hard. Make them work even harder. Time change slaves with minus ten thousand gain one common population. That's pretty good. Uh, so we let him pay. Why not? Corruption's already going up. Respected weavers. I don't really understand what the purpose of that is. I really don't doesn't sort of really give me any buffs or anything that I can see. Alright, so we're rooting out corruption. Okay, so that'll slowly start bringing it down and we'll get this research um, hopefully under control. Hopefully. I've got a truce with Photos. Okay. So I can go back to war with Athens. Force service, reinforce speed plus twenty percent, sure. Host the games, of course. Uh, we'll send our best athletes. Um, Laconian ideas, as soon as the Laconian ideas have evolved and granted access to return of the Dorian people, a rightful blood descendant. Okay. Okay, let the games begin. Athens is just kind of expanding, which is sort of historical. Lydia has announced Sparta as their new rival. That could be a little bit concerning. 
could be. Hmm. So what do we got here? So let's have a look. So Persia, they're alive. Babylon is a beast, like every game I've played so far, apart from maybe one or two, Babylon has just ended up being an absolute beast. Um, yeah, screw them, assholes. Uh, Egypt looks like she's pretty steady. What about Carthage? Has she expanded? Oh, she's expanded down here. She didn't do much there. Uh, expanded along here a little bit. Rome is expanding though. That's good to see. I've played a lot of games as, um, well, you know, a lot of muck around games. Um, and Rome hasn't really expanded too much. So it's good to see that they are expanding in this one. Um, so if we zoom in and we have a look. Um, we've obviously got the, the Velsner, which is sort of powerful, and so too few rivals, so I can really... Carthage. Why do I want to rival Carthage? Because they're my two main rivals, I suppose. Right, because that totally makes sense. Let's get another road, and then I think we need to do one more, is it? Um, where are we? Roads, 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 roads. Have five roads. Um, just a bit, uh, where are we? Uh, so, roads, we have... One, two, local autonomy, we will send them money, we will send soldiers to find them, sure, manpower is okay, it's not our biggest issue, um, so this sh should be the last road I need to build, and we should be able to complete the reform of Polydorus. Uh, Basilius Polydorus has decided to reform the country. There are many ideas how the country can be reformed. The administration suggests the reformation of the tax system. Others want to renew the province system. And the generals want to expand the recruitment and training system. We need an unflinching government. Government organisation. Reform the province system. Lose five government organisation. The military needs to reform. Uh, let's go with the government organisation. Money is good. So, <laughs> this is obviously uh, shaping up to be a little bit of a boring episode, guys. Uh, obviously, you know, we're just kind of like uh, knocking off a couple missions. Um, you know, just building a bit of a economic infrastructure up, I suppose. 
Um, and the reason being is because we really, before we go to war with Athens again, to just make it easier so that it's not ridiculously drags on. So it's like an hour of just like endless war, uh, hoping that sort of one side ends up with more war exhaustion than the other and just goes, oh, no, damn, let's get out. Um, I really need to get that fleet in the water so that I can challenge the Athenians, which is, um, you know, obviously historically something the Spartans never managed to do. Uh, I think I might have mentioned it in the previous episode or two, um, but I think um, Sparta during the, the, the Pelop I think it was the, the second, I think there was two, two Peloponnesian Wars, it might have been three. Um, but basically, during the the, the the sort of main one where, where Sparta really sort of asserted itself as like one of the main hegemonic city states in um, in sort of uh, ancient Hellas, um, they actually ended up selling out Greece and they did a deal with the Persians, uh, and the Persians ended up sending them. I think it was a fleet of like two or, or three hundred heavy warships, uh, which they used to um, obviously blockade Athens and. Um, you know, eventually sort of like get the siege and force them to terms. So, because the, the big problem was obviously um, Athens, I suppose at the time, um, was very much like, um, I suppose, uh, Britain during World War Two and Japan during World War Two. She was a, a, she was a naval empire spread around the Aegean. Um, and she also had, you know, a couple of colonies over here, and uh, I think p perhaps they may have been the ones that originally founded uh, Massalia. I'm not sure. Uh, probably wrong there, so don't, you know, feel free to um, to, to roast me down in the comment section for my bad uh, bad re uh, recall of history. Uh, but basically, she had like a little island empire spread across the AG, and she had colonies all over, sort of like the Anatolian coastline here. Um, and so when she was at war and she was under siege by uh, Sparta, obviously Sparta couldn't break the fortifications. Um, so as a result, um, uh, Athens kept sailing in supplies and reinforcements and all, you know, all that sort of stuff from uh, her empire. And unfortunately Sparta couldn't match the Athenians at sea. Uh, so they managed to get an envoy over to the Persians and, the, you know, obviously got a a fleet from the Persians and um, yeah it is what it is There should be a ledger. Let's have a look. Uh, so let's go military, navy quality comparison, navies. No, that did nothing for me. Ah, here we go. So by country, where are we? Athens, Athens, Athens. So, Athenae, they have four heavy ships, four light ships, 12 galleys, five transports. So, she actually doesn't have too much of a navy. So, if I put a fleet of heavy ships into the water, say I go for that mission where I'm going to do the 25 heavy ships, then I should actually be able to smash Athens at sea. Should, as long as I put a half decent general. So what do we have here? So we have five. So I think if we wait until I get to say 300 gold, then I build uh, say 10. So we got a castle ship, uh, a lumberjack. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
Uh, so what does that do? So yeah, that's going to bring my uh, my corruption down a lot more. So the big thing you want to do here is obviously get certain techs. I think it's your admin tech. If you get that well ahead of time, then you get a bonus for that with keeping your corruption down. However, if you've got unbalanced corruption, uh, that's not good. So that's going to smash our economy. Yeah, drop me down a lot. So it causes devastation, obviously. So once I have enough, enough money, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll pen this fleet in, uh, and then um, we shall um, we'll probably end the episode, guys, because I do have somewhere to be shortly. So. Okay. So let's go with the warships or the deer. That will give us a grand total of 15. Uh, it's also probably going to uh, slaughter our economy, but that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so let's have a quick look around the map, see what's happened this episode. Uh, so Rome looks like she has expanded a little bit more. Uh, can't really see too much here. Carthage still sort of kind of expanding as I would expect. So we come over here. Oh, looks like Lydia and Babylon are at war. Uh, so that is certainly going to be very, very interesting. Um... Persia, wow, well, looks like she's been uh, she's been chomped and pushed back by Babylon. Uh, so Babylon is obviously going to, uh, at this stage, looks like it's going to be the Persian Empire that we need to fight. Um, so instead of the Persian Empire, it's going to be the Babylonian Empire. Uh, but that looks like about it so far. So definitely shaping up to be a very, very interesting one. Uh, so next episode, once this fleet is built, we'll probably do a few more transport ships as well, just so we can move troops around, expand our army to capacity, uh, and then we will have a second Peloponnesus war with Sparta so that we can get uh, Zacynthus and complete our mission for unifying the Peloponnesus, which will then um, give us extra cores and all that sort of good stuff on other uh, areas of uh, Hellas. Uh, so apart from that guys if you enjoyed this episode smash that subscribe button or drop this video a like and leave your thoughts tips tricks all that good stuff down in the comment section below uh, this is the down and the gamer signing off i hope you all have an awesome day thank you very much for watching cheers